a video for Shane's giveaway where he wants me to make tea and tell you guys a story so I got the tea started the water started and once it uh, water's hot enough I'll start the tea and then I will tell you a story when the tea is ready it's not boiling but it's <clears throat> warm enough or hot enough for me Especially since it's really warm out here. Um, so it's the warmest day that I've been outside this this year so far. So, ouch. Get that brewing. And I wait about, I don't know, five minutes. And then I'll tell you a story. Oh pick this up on uh, eBay for three dollars I wanted a whistle to uh, like a safety whistle I thought this one was pretty cool looking it's a English Bobby or police officers whistle I'm gonna put it on something um, it's not quite as loud as I thought it was gonna be so I may keep looking for one but for now uh, let's see how this sounds. It's not too bad. It's a, a two-tone whistle, I believe. It sounds like it. I'm pretty sure it's a two-tone whistle, so that if somebody doesn't is unable to hear one of the tones, they can hear the other tone. And I was looking at vintage ones because I like older stuff. Um, better made, but then I was thinking I could probably I could uh, you know I could easily sanitize it I guess, but at the time I wasn't thinking about that. I was just thinking about all the lips that were on it and all the you know the saliva and stuff that must be in caked inside of some of those. So I went with the new one, and so far I'm not disappointed with it. You know I haven't had to use it for anything you know specific I haven't had to use it to for safety or anything of course I just got it but you know it doesn't weigh very much and I thought it's something I could just throw in my pack with me looks like my tea's ready I uh talking to Shane yesterday and he reminded me to do this 
uh, video. I've been so busy lately that I haven't gotten to make a video, but I will be releasing my next, um, my next Hawaii video this week. Um, and I'm going out this Saturday to check out a new spot and I'm going to be doing some videos up there. Hopefully it'll be a place that I can do regular videos at. So uh, I'll have a couple guys going with me on that. Anyways, in, uh, for Shane's video he wants us to tell a story and I was asking him if I had ever told him the story about the one time that I hitchhiked. And I don't believe that I've told this story on the channel before, but I might be wrong. I might have talked about it before, but oh well. It's my channel. And I can't remember doing it anyways. So, after high school, I moved out to Denver because I wanted to go to school out there. I was going to school for architecture. And I was, uh, had a lot of free time in between classes after I left the job that I was working uh, when I first got out there because I didn't have, well, it was affecting my study because I was working full time and going to school full time. Anyways, after I left that job, I had a lot of extra free time on my hands. So I'd go drive into the mountains at least twice, sometimes three, four times a week. I'd just drive into the mountains and park on the side of the road and go hiking. Um, I'd just take out and tell anybody where I was going. Um, there was a lot of cool stuff that I found just by walking around. I found a helicopter one time, and uh, I don't think it was hidden. But Well, I mean, it was hidden from the road, but it wasn't abandoned. It was a construction helicopter that somebody had parked there. Anyways, that's not what I'm telling you. There was a boulder and Golden aren't too far from there. I lived in Denver, but I worked in Boulder and Golden is where the Coors Brewing Company is. And if you haven't been to Denver or even the Rocky Mountains or that area, Denver is flat. Denver and everything east of Denver is completely flat. Um, and then the mountains just jut up. They're directly west of Denver. Denver butts up against them. Um, so one, of the, one night I decided to, or one afternoon I decided to drive up to Lookout Mountain. It's where a um, famous western person was buried. I believe it was, uh, I don't remember, I'll look it up and I'll put it on the video. Um, anyways, there's a lookout there. They look, you could look out over all of Denver because, like I said, Denver's flat. And I was up there and I'd say this is probably late fall. And it wasn't cold yet, or not, it wasn't really cold yet. So I, I'd say it's probably early fall then. Um, my car broke, my car doesn't start. It's about nine o'clock, it's dark. I'm the only one up there and my car won't start. So, I didn't have any choice but to start to walk home because I don't know where my cell phone was. Oh, well, I had my cell phone, but I couldn't get a hold of anybody to come get me. So I just decided to walk and I didn't want to, um, that was crazy. The spider jumped on me from over there and then jumped off. Oh, anyways, so I decided to just start walking. So first I followed the switchbacks of the road down and then I decided to just start cutting across. So I got down to the bottom and like, I'll just walk home and, and uh, 
they'll come get the car the next day. So I walk through Golden to the highway that comes out of Denver into the Golden. It's a spur highway off of I-70. So you're not supposed to walk along um, interstates, but I didn't really have much of a choice. I mean, I probably could have walked around, but I didn't. I mean, I knew the area, but there was a Golden is inside of the mountains. So there's like one row of peaks, short peaks called the foothills in between Denver and Golden. So I didn't really have much choice but to walk the interstate out. So I was walking along and I got to the point about, or I was maybe a mile past Coors Brewing Company, which is right next to the highway. I had my thumb out the whole time. And like I said, it's illegal to walk along the highway and I th I'm pretty sure it's illegal to hitchhike now. Well, like four cops drove by within the hour that I had been on the highway already walking and nobody stopped. Uh, it was been, you know, I didn't have anything else to do. I didn't have anywhere to be the next day, but I, I couldn't understand why they didn't stop. So, um, I had my thumb out and this uh, RV stopped and um, it was an older couple I'd say probably in their 50s early 60s maybe of hippies that worked at Coors Brewing Company and they said well we could take you down the highway and let you out at your stop or your exit that you would you would get off of as if I was driving home so I said well great that's better than, than nothing because I had another I don't, I don't know how many miles I had, um, at least four or five probably. Anyway, so they, they brought me down there and let me off. And it was the road that I lived on, but I lived probably ten miles down this road. So I, started, I kept walking. At that time it was about eleven, I think. Eleven or twelve. I don't, I don't remember. Um, so I walked for a while. After about 45 minutes, a couple of people were stumbling along the road drunk, so I walked with them for a little bit. And then I got, then they, you know, walked off and was going home because they weren't that far from their house. And, uh, police officer finally stopped. I didn't have my thumb out at this time because it was a it wasn't a residential neighborhood. Well it was, but this was a main artery, main road that went through with businesses, you know, and you know, restaurants and stuff on the side, but it was it was after midnight by then, so the police officer stopped and was seeing if I was okay and you know I said I only live down at the end of this road and uh, before it got to Golden, or not Golden, before it got to Boulder. And uh, it's hard to remember the details of distances between where I was at the point and where I lived. And anyways, he said, he said, hop on in. He made me sit in the back, of course. And uh, we got to almost, probably four or five blocks from the house and he stopped and he said, you need to get out. This is where my jurisdiction ends and I can't bring you any farther. Which, um, I mean, unless you guys can prove me wrong with this point, I don't see the, the metro set up like the metro that I live in. Any of the cops can drive around in any of the neighborhoods. They don't really, they do stick to their cities, but they have jurisdiction over all the cities if they need it. But I don't see why that would stop him from just driving me on home but anyways he wouldn't he wouldn't do it so he let me out and uh, walked for a while longer got up, finally got home like 1 30 in the morning and had a few drinks with my buddies there who were home <laughs> and uh, went back the next day jump started the car started up fine and drove home 
so there's my uh, my uh, hitchhiking story for you. And uh, here's your video, Shane, for your giveaway. And I will be adding a useless fact at the end of this video, so stay tuned after the credits. Cheers. Hello, you ready for your useless fact? I, uh... <clears throat> have you ever heard the uh, term... Oh, I'm sure you have, but I got fired, or I'm gonna get fired, or... Um, whatever, have you ever thought about where that came from? They, uh... Used to, in the, uh, Middle Ages, or whatever, a long time ago, um, they wanted to kick you out of the community or wanted to get rid of you, they wouldn't kill you, they would burn your house down. And that's where the term, I got fired, came from. So, now you know.